Apple's new A14 Bionic processor was detailed in their company's latest event as it's the processor powering the new iPad Air 4. Apple portrays the A14 as faster than most PC laptops and made a similar statement about A12Z that found on its 2020 iPad Pro. So how do these two mobile processors actually compare? Before going to the comparison, let's dig into the history a little bit. Can you remember Apple's A12 processor first introduced in the iPhone XS in 2018? A most powerful variant of that chip was used in 2018 iPad Pro, the mighty A12X. The X means the more cores can be used at once and also they have tweaked some other components for their performance enhancement. Generally speaking, the A12X is about 60-70% to 70 faster than the A12 when it comes to dealing with demanding tasks. You can see that Apple is pushing their iPad as a replacement of a laptop. For that reason, they are making an improved version of their chip to use in their iPads. In 2020, Apple updated the iPhone 11 to an A13 chip and later on this year, they have launched their iPad Pro 2020 with a new chip named A12Z, which is very much capable to handle 4K video editing, 3D designs, augmented reality and productive tasks. Apple is going to release a new MacBook with their own silicon soon and they are already using A12Z in their developer-only Apple Silicon Mac Mini. Recently, Apple have released iPad Air 2020 with a 14 Bionic chip. We are expecting a new iPhone with that same chip too. So what's the deal? Why Apple used a new processor on their budget-friendly iPad rather than using it in their premium iPad Pro? Is Apple's A14 Bionic chip is more powerful than their A12Z Bionic chip? The answer is yes and no. Let me explain. In less complex tasks, A14 will be a great processor. It will perform better with a great battery efficiency due to its 5 nanometer architecture. On the other hand, A12Z uses a 7 nanometer architecture which is a bit slower and it will draw a little bit more battery. For your reference, 5 nanometer means the transistor are packed tighter and that makes electron reach their destination within the chip faster. But wait, that is not the only one important factor. The A14 Bionic also includes a 4 core GPU, while the A12Z has 8 cores. The A14 CPU has 6 cores with 2 for performance and 4 for efficiency. Most processors use the same techniques. The A12Z is designed first for power, second for efficiency. The 8-core CPU is split evenly with 4-core for speed and 4-core for energy savings. The specialization between the processor is becoming more clear and the intent behind the design can make a big difference. Since the A12Z is meant specifically for large devices with higher capacity batteries, the processor can convert the energy into performance more easily. There are also thermal characteristics to consider. A processor meant to work in an iPhone cannot be allowed to generate great amount of heat due to its small chassis. The A12Z is meant to reach higher temperature without concern, knowing it will pass into the large area allowed by an iPad Pro. Of course, there wouldn't be an absolute comparison of A14 and A12Z until someone managed to run through benchmark tests, and even then, performance can be subjective if the limits of the device are not pushed regularly. What seems fast to an average user may be annoyingly slow to someone editing 4K resolution video and layering effects on their daily basis. No doubt, soon after the iPad Air 4 ships, benchmark test for its A14 will begin showing up along with the comparison to the A12Z in the iPad Pro. While that will quantify the power of A14 more precisely, its real value to the shopper demands on their particular uses. In the end, both are very powerful processors and Apple states that both are faster than most PC laptops. Perhaps that's enough to know for now. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.